is as we feared. We must get into those catacombs before that ship reaches this planet. Indeed. Now where's the exit? There's the exit. I got time for like one or two more missions before we have to wrap up. So let's let's do some missions. Like in theory, I believe we're like 60-70% through the game at this point. The fact that we're just now learning about who the dark makers are is a little shocking. Like it is, it is a little astounding that it took it takes them this long to start actually introducing the the in theory primary bad guy. That's kind of my problem with the game that there's so many factions that are actually kind of hard to keep track of. You got Vigor shit, you've got the KG bots, you've got the metalheads although they're on the same side. You have the Dark Makers, although if actually, canonically, they're on the same side because Errol was revived by the Dark Makers and he's the one coordinating their, the war to give them an opening to conquer the, the galaxy or whatever. Because, I guess. I don't really explain why Errol is helping Dark Makers. And I don't really care. But it is a little weird that he's just, like, he's just okay with blowing up everyone and everything ever. They did bring him back to life, but if someone brought me back to life with you with genocide, I would say no. I'm just saying. If someone revived me for the express purpose of doing a genocide, I would just say no. That's my stance on the topic. I know, controversial hot take, but that's, that is what I would do. I want to say the principal stance of genocide is bad, actually. Genocide is bad, actually. Yes, that that is that is Brandon Carey, aka New York Cloud's official stance on that topic. Please respect my bold, principled take on the matter. I'm also not a murderer like the Errol is. So I don't know. Maybe he's different. Maybe he's different. Maybe he's a little different stuff than I am. We get a big one this time, Jack. That decoder you found helped us decipher the gate key for the main KG War Factory. We can get inside now, and we need our best people on the raid. Oh, gee. I wonder who that might be. There is a good chance that factory is doing more than just making death bots. I want to know who's behind it all. How are so many death bots being made? Where are they getting the supplies in the eco? Something about this doesn't seem right. Yeah, right into the hornet's nest. This is going to be fun. Yeah, remind me when to laugh. It's Errol. I don't know why they don't know it's Errol. Because Errol did just say it was him. When they, when like they, when he ha had that calm back in the Naughty Soul. Like, we know it's Errol. I don't know why that's a surprise to anybody. You need to know who's doing it. It's Errol. There, there's your answer. It's done. I figured it out for you. I'm a genius boy. I'm a super special genius boy who can figure this out on his own. Oh, right, we take a Hellcat for this one. I believe the Hellcat is a little fragile, so this is going to be a fun one. 
go a tad over. We'll see. Might go a tad over time. I don't recall this being a hard mission. It's just shoot the nodes. And you beat the first set of nodes. More nodes appear. Nothing too complicated. Oh, I forgot we get bombs back. Because I, I do I don't want to use all my bombs, there is a part two. Now more notes appear. Is a little floaty. Yes, yes, for Jeff. Obviously, every everything we do in this in this stream is for Jeff. Should destroy the engines on the on the Sky Fortress. I think Jack could have stopped Coney. I think he could. I think he could have saved Nelson Mandela. He could have saved Nelson Mandela from his untimely death. No, don't do that. If Jack existed in our world, Nelson Mandela would still be alive today. There, I said it. I'm, ma I'm making that bold proclamation right now. Oh, time for a combat slash platforming section. Jack would have 100% stopped 9-11. 
I believe this in, in, in my heart of hearts. Well... The world doll! Or not. I think that looked like a time stop. But I'm wrong, it's just Daxter has a cutscene to do. I think Jack and I think Daxter is strong enough to fight Thanos one on one. Okay, that's kind of weird, but go on. I mean, Adam Warlock is a two-drop zero-power creature, or hero, in Marvel Snap. So yeah, he's, he's pathetic. Two energy, zero power. He's fucking pathetic. He's a weakling. Yeah, Dax would be a six power or a six energy, a thousand power, on reveal, destroy your opponent's board, entire board. You win the game instantly. Exactly. You would just kill all your enemy cards and they can't play cards anymore for the rest of the game. He's just that powerful. He he is more powerful than Agatha Harkness. It's just Agatha. Now with the platform back to Jack. Show us how high we are, so if we fall, we know we're dead. Hello, sidekick. Let's move. I think you mean secret agent clank. I hate enemies that float in this game. That float and use guns. No, it's not that Clank works for Errol. It's that Errol works for Clank, who is working for the Dark Makers. Yeah, there really is no reason to use any weapon aside from the, the beam reflexor. It is easily the best gun in the entire fucking game. In the game, I am genuinely surprised how early they give you this fucking weapon. Because this weapon is, like, very, very powerful for, like, the entire game, and you get, like, you, we got in the first hour. No, the Dark Makers work for Clank. It's actually, like, Clank is actually here. To destroy the Jack and Dax universe, that his franchise is a superior one, which is, you know, they are it already is, but you know, we gotta be sure.
True, Onyx. The Last Frontier is definitely a video game. It is a video game written by a thing. By a person. Your shoulder getting lonely? I'm surprised Jack's shoulder doesn't sag. With how often he carries Daxter on it. You think Daxter, like, evens at, like, goes on the other side to even out the, the sagging at some point? Okay, Boogie. Uh, Kira is a is a playable racer in Jack X. Like she does actually stuff like do important stuff in the game. They treat her better there than they do here. I, that's for that's for damn sure. I remember why you'd use a different gun than this one. In Jack 3. Why you use a weapon other than the beam reflexor? It's that you have... It's because you only have so, so much ammo. That is the only actual reason you would use different. Jack X is a very good game. I might even stream it one of these days. Who knows? I said I wouldn't rule it out because I actually do quite enjoy playing that game. It does not help that every fucking thing clips it. Okay. Okay. You know? Maybe. Just maybe. I shouldn't drive in this game. Ah! 
I don't even know if there's a concept of driver's licenses in the world of Jack and Jack. Oh my god! If you veer even slightly off course, you just fall. Oh my... What is with this fucking ramp? There we go. I hate that, like, you can't... Like, you veer off course by ramming into literally anything. Like, if you could just drive straight through enemies, this would be no problem at all. Jesus fucking Christ, that was annoying. Fucking hell. Oh, I think we have a boss fight after this. Oh, look! Some new friends to help me conquer this puny little planet. You're talking to the Dark Makers. It seems my digital self can communicate with these poor, tortured minds quite well. Oh, they're just like you and me, Jack. Well, me at least. They want a home, someone to call a friend. Destruction of all my ego. They volunteer to help me put this puny planet out of its misery. <laughs> You're in for a big surprise. The Dark Makers don't play nicely with others. Just ask the Metalheads. I've been given the opportunity to wield a power even the Precursors could not control. Don't fret. You won't live to see what I turn this little world into. Maybe a rock, or a floating puddle of slag, or nothing at all. Complete oblivion! So hard to choose. I won't let you do this! And as for why he's doing this, I don't fucking know. Does it matter? Not really. There we go. That's how you beat him. You know, I could see Crash. I could see Luka being a fucking Dark Maker.
we're actually getting we're actually plusing on ammo. We had a hundred bullets at the start of this of this fight. You're actually now plusing on ammo. Not this time. Okay. They're in the green one. I would be embarrassed if I was there all right now. What my younger self found frustrating about this fight, though, because you're just lucky. Oh, fuck off! All right, we got this one. There we go. Who needs Dark Jack when I have the fucking Beam Reflexor? You see? Like, I'm killing things and getting more ammo out of it. What the fuck? And now he's on red. Oh, we have actual art makers here. They drop ammo. They do! They do drop ammo! How polite of them. That was a boss fight. We took it to that robot goon and kicked his nuts and bolts. Arrow got away, but we shut down his robot factory. That's good, but it is troubling to see what Arrow is doing. I fear he may be trying to awaken that terrible dark ship before we can destroy it. That's a cool. That's Odin a good master line. The precursors and dark makers have fought over worlds for as long as time has turned. It would not be the first time a planet was lost to those monsters. Well, it's not gonna be this planet. We've lasted this long. We've just gotta find a way to destroy that thing. The truth lies at the bottom of the catacombs. That's where I need to go. So, we got our new upgrade for the Peacemaker gun. Uh, it is useless. You will never actually use it. It's just a gravity gun. It is actually just useless. Jack, please help us. Arrow is attacking the Monk Temple. He wants the secrets we have kept concerning the Dark Makers. Please hurry. If he learns what he seeks, it could undo this world. Let me demonstrate it. Yep. Fucking useless. It, that is exactly it, Xeno or, or Onyx. Why do I need a crowd control gun when it is so much faster to just murder them all? It's neat. The problem is, it's not actually useful. <laughs> In the time I got one of those out, 
I could do a concussive blast or just do the spinny thing with the blast with the beam reflexor. And either one of those would do damage. And crowd control. Why would I do a crowd control only gun when I can do damage and crowd control at the same time? With the Peacemaker even. The Peacemaker has a crowd control function. It's just a, a it's just weird that this gun has no practical purpose. Well, time freezes when you're healing. Like when you hit the heal button, time is frozen. People don't move. So you don't really need a a, a crowd control for that. You can just do it. When you're pulling off your light jack stuff, time freezes. But that is a struggle for another day. For now, we've run a little over time. But it's fine. It was worth it to uh, finish up the boss fight. How far are we in the game? 81%. So we will almost definitely finish uh, Jack 3 next week. Because we're only 20% left of the game. If you have to go over for that, that's fine. I just, like... Surprised that this is not... this is, I I figured this would take way longer than it is. I, I I recall, like, the Jack and Daxter games taking far longer than this when I played them the first time. So I'm a little surprised we're, like, blazing through them as fast as we are. But... That's a story for another day. Until then... Bye, everybody. Have a great evening.